Welcome to our bars, lounges and entertainment guide on board the Morella Explorer 2. Here we will show you all the venues on board the ship and what entertainment to expect during your cruise. If you've not met us before, we're Paul and Carol Loves to Travel and make sure you hit that subscribe button. Right, on deck 12 you'll find the Indigo Bar which is also the casino. This is a, a large lounge there's a virtually 360 degree view, so it's excellent if you're doing a sail away and the weather's a bit inclement, or even if it's a nice clear night and you can see the stars. The one night we were in there, actually, we could see a volcano with some smoke coming out the top. Stromboli. Stromboli. Yeah. Um, the captain does uh, some of his addresses from here. Oh, there's the <laughs> there's the volcano there we were talking about. Um, this is also a great place for live music. Lots of different things in here. Uh, the cruise director did his swing show. They do line dancing in the day. It really is a nice place to go and there's lots and lots of seating. And it's also the place where we did the fantastic silent disco, which if you've never done one of those, you really have got to give it a whirl. Even your dad, who's 84, joined in and had a fabulous time, didn't he? Yeah, I'm not sure he knew what was going on, but uh, he did it anyway. And it kept him quiet, and there he is there. But <laughs> <laughs> There's a oh, village missing him. his idiot somewhere, but oh. still, oh, we love him really. Yeah, John had a fantastic time. Yes, yeah, so the Indigo Bar is a fantastic choice, and where we spent most of our time. We did, we loved it there. Right, next up is the Squid and Anchor. Morella call this their pub at sea. In the daytime, a lovely quiet place to sit. It's got some windows, not, not as good as the, um, as the Indigo for views, because it's lower down in the ship. We will find lots of people sitting quietly in the day and reading, but in the evening it really comes alive and this is the place for live game shows. They have live music in there as well and it's also the place for the famous band jam. This is where various artists from around the ship all come together to form a super group. There's the musical director Tom Beach at the helm, you've got um, the two bands joining, you've got the individual singers. Um, one of the um, entertainers even turned up and treated us to the violin and even the classical pianist turned up But basically all you do you shout out a song They give it a whirl and the results are excellent. It really really is a good night Towards the left of the stage you'll find the gin and whiskey bar This is a bar that obviously specializes in all different types of gin and whiskies and it's not included in the standard all-inclusive so if you do want to sample these um, different drinks then you must upgrade to the premier all-inclusive. From the Squid and Anchor you can also go out onto the aft deck of the ship. Here you will also find a smoking area. The Squid and Anchor was a really popular pub and we recommend if there's something you particularly want to watch make sure you get there earlier so you can get yourself a seat. Next up is the Broadway Show Lounge. Found right at the front of the ship, it can hold up to a thousand passengers. Situated on deck six and seven, it is a really comfortable lounge with small tables where you can put your drinks. However, if you have mobility issues or are on a mobility scooter, the only place that you can sit is near the back. This was really disappointing for Paul's dad, John, as the highlight for his cruises is always the entertainment and he loves sitting at the front of the theatre so he can get a really good view of the stage. We didn't have this issue on the Discovery which had uh, walkways that was flat so he could do that. The other thing that was different from our previous Morella cruises was that there was no waiter service within the theatre. As you came in there was a table as you can see here full of different types of drinks, different wines, cocktails etc. It was okay but must admit we do prefer to have the waiter service that we've received on our previous Morella cruises. We were treated to a variety of shows in the Broadway Theatre Lounge, provided from the entertainments team. Very, very talented dancers and brilliant singers too. With two performances each evening, you were always guaranteed a seat. We were also treated to a night of comedy with a guy called Herbie Adams, and he was brilliant. Right, let's just uh, give you a little bit of a look around the 19th hole. Golf based. I say it's a sports bar, but there's no sports show. It's just a little bit based. As you can see, fantasy turn, colourful, strange woman over 
one there, but um, that's what you get when you go on cruises. It's a nice little touch because there's a gold buddy table. You can sit there and enjoy your drinks. Nice little bar area. Like I said, very tastefully decorated, especially if you're into shorts. Into shorts, into golf. <laughs> yourself or they do have uh, sort of demos where you can have a free go but in the evening it does prove to be very popular. Another golf buggy. Just see what this plaque on the wall is all about. It's not a Creek Deco. Oh it's speciality cocktails you can get in here which as you can see are all golf based. I really liked the 19th hole, it was something a little bit different and must say the service was superb in here too. Next we stop at Flutes, the champagne bar. Here you can get any drinks that you want but obviously bubbles are what it's all about. Situated in the small atrium just above the reception area you had views of the LED screen which changed daily. One day it might be a beautiful sunset like this or it may be fish or it may be of the destination what you're visiting but it certainly is a great feature and if piano music is your thing then this is definitely the place to be we really like flutes and the added bonus was we met Kamal again who we first met on the discovery a lovely guy with the biggest smile and is certainly a credit to the company Aperitif on Deck 6 is an excellent place for a pre-dinner drink. It's situated right in between the two specialty restaurants, Corolla and Surf and Turf. And we were pleasantly surprised when we went in here for a drink, because one of our favourite waitresses from the Discovery, Alexandra, now works here. And she was almost as pleased to see us as we were to see her. Yeah, it was lovely to see her. On to the last two bars now that are on the pool decks. The first is actually called the pool bar and it's on deck 11. The pool bar has a comprehensive menu and a large seating area all around it. A lot of it is undercover too which was great for our cruise because unfortunately the weather wasn't kind to us. Whenever I went off for a wander to explore the ship I didn't have to worry about losing the boys because I know I would always find them here. You'll find the other outside bar called the shack on deck 12. This is a great place for sail away and gets very, very busy when there's days at sea and when the sun's out. And if you didn't want to leave the comfort of your sunbed, there was always the mobile bar. And Orlando was brilliant fun. One thing's for sure, you'll never go thirsty on the Morella Explorer 2. Thanks for watching our tour of bars and lounges on the Explorer 2. If you enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and keep watching for future videos from Paul and Carol Loves to Travel. Thanks!